him being God. It isn't MTV being God. And so here's my That's question. Correct. Here's my question to Dr. Steve Pachenik. Yeah. How will the empire strike back, A, and then B, I've got a good idea, but you've been inside it. Who are these special interests uh, that, are the, that are the real conscious enemies of this country? The real special interests, ironically, are the ones who want to create uh, materials that we don't need. For example, you have Senator Portman of Ohio who insisted against the desire of Martin Dempsey and the Defense Department to build the M1 Abrams because he had 5,000 people unemployed and he built the M1 Abrams tank. And the general said, we don't want it. We don't want it. We don't need it. And uh, General and uh, S Senator Portman said, we're going to have it. And they built these M1 Abrams and we sold them overseas. In other words, we're building things we don't need. And it's time, as General Eisenhower said, to be careful of the military industrial complex. They're very dangerous. They do not re represent our interests, our basic goals. And they will show you on television every kind of uh, insignia or notation that they rep represent the republic. They don't. We don't need a war in Afghanistan. I don't need 776 bases all over the world in 226 countries. I need our troops to be better trained, to be loca located in the United States with forward positioning like SYNCPAC and uh, SOUTHCOM. Look at the new fighter they admit's a total piece of crash. It, it costs like a half billion it's apiece. Total junk. And even Senator McCain, I must admit, said it was junk. But somehow, somebody upstairs is not willing to stop it. And that's where a Trump comes in, in terms of personality. Obama can't do well, anything. Well, that's why Trump is, in the final equation, good. The globalists well, have a method of their madness. They want to sabotage the U.S. down the road for this global government. They're setting us up for a fall. We do not want to go along with it. Remember, what we need is an individual. Our country doesn't run in a collective, although that's what's been happening, collective decisions. But you see what happened in the soft coup, and it often happens that. Usually one or two of the individuals break out and change the narrative because they say, we can't let that continue with the old narrative. So Dempsey said, no, we're not going to confront the president. That was very smart. He saw what McChrystal did, and it didn't help him. So McChrystal had to leave. So Dempsey went in and instead worked with the Israelis and the Russians to bring in lousy equipment to the and with, with using Turkish equipment. So he used his brain and used a very creative way of defying the, the, the community. Now, that's what we have in America, our ability to be creative, to be, think out of the box and to be really ingenious and at the same time entrepreneurial makes us very, very special and exceptional. Not because we stand for this or that, it's because we are this and that. We are unusual. We are a Judeo-Christian country. We are able to build a business in 36 hours. We are able to have property that can't be taken away from me in France or in Bulgaria or in South Africa as I had property taken away from me by Mabiki and the ANC. I mean, I've been through these experiences where you buy property and suddenly you see the leader of the country taking away that property and you're saying, wait a minute, where are, my rule, where are the rules and, and, and uh, mandates of the law? There and if you have that rule that your property is your property, you're successful right there and they're getting Correct. rid of that. It, it, they know that what they're is, doing. Exactly. That is the basis of America. We have to uh, decrease the size of the government. We need somebody who can clean it out. Things that I used to do in the old days. In other words, clean out this administration, that administration, and a man like Trump can do it. Someone else uh, on the spectrum can't. I don't see anyone else. Who yeah, I'm sad that. to say that uh, the, the others just, just don't get it or they care too much about the mainstream media. They don't get it. It's all about getting in the yeah. mainstream media's face. Dr. Pachenik, have a great uh, new year coming up. Look forward to speaking to you again. Thank, Thank you for you. spending and 15 years with us here you. on air. And bless your audience. Thank you so much, Alex, for what you've done for America. Oh, no, I did, Thanks, it. I did it for America with my family, just like you did. And I'm not going right. to be run by bullies. God bless you. God bless Again, you. people like Thank that you. always thanking me. I thank Dr. Pachenik. Um, I mean...